There were a couple of things that I don't know stuck in my head that I noticed that I thought might be a little bit of a a dilemma at some point. And you also told Mr. Depp that sometimes you get so mad you lose it, correct? That's correct. I also explained the context of that fight yesterday. That's you and Mr. Franco on May 22nd, 2016, right, Ms. Hurd? That's correct. And you're taking him up to the penthouses, aren't you? That's where I lived, yes. And it's past 11 p.m. at night, isn't that right? I'm not quite sure of the time it looked, it looked like that. Why don't we pull that video back up? But I did take pause, of course, at the fact that she was visibly shaken or upset that I had, uh, I had broken her rules of routine. I thought that strange. And then once that, once you notice something like that, then you start to notice other little things that come out. And then uh, within a year, a year and a half, she had become this another person almost. The defamation trial that is going on right now between Depp and Heard is centralized around two very basic things. One, that Johnny allegedly was physically violent with Amber Heard, and two, that Heard lied about that in its entirety, and Depp's career was almost irreparably hurt as a result. A couple of weeks into the trial, all sorts of testimony and statements have been made both for and against both sides. But if you want to know where we were before the trial even started, you have to go back in time to how the relationship started and Ended and the fallout that occurred. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. To take this back to the beginning, we must look back over a decade with the film The Rum Diary, a movie very near and dear to Johnny due to how it was inspired by a real life friend of his. Deb was to star in the film and Heard was cast as his love interest, not anything that hadn't happened before in his career. However, it soon became clear to the two that they had a connection that was almost intoxicating. The catch was that both of them were in previous relationships. Deb was with Vanessa Paradis, the mother of his two children, and Amber, who's bisexual, was with Tasia Van Rie. Despite these hurdles, both of them broke off the relationships they had and eventually they became involved. Those who saw the relationship both up close and afar noted that things honestly did seem to look well between them. Deb even testified in the current defamation trial that in the early goings everything was great. Heard treated Deb very well and at one point even went so far as to take off his shoes in the literal sense every time he got home from work, something he admitted he never experienced before. In the beginning of my relationship with Miss Heard, she was um it was as if she were it was she was too good to be true. She was attentive, she was loving, um she was smart, she was kind, she was funny, she was understanding. We we had many things in common. So for that year or year and a half, it was uh it was amazing. Um his security guard also testified at the trial that the two were giddy in the early days of their marriage, but things went south quickly, and the evidence suggested the acts of violence actually started before the marriage. Number 8. Early Warnings In 2013, Depp is profiled by Rolling Stone in an article where he reveals a dependency on pain medication and alcohol, but also that he's been sober for a year and a half. Depp has been more than open and honest about his addiction woes, as well as his repeated attempts to get clean so that he could move on with his life. I've never used the word party in my life. I've never taken any substance for a party. I have taken these substances over the years, on and off, um, to numb. But that addiction would be a key factor in the violence to come, because not long before the allegations came, Depp fell off the wagon and it wouldn't be the last time that happened. The first allegation of AB occurred in March 2013. Heard claims Depp slapped her three times after she made a joke about his Wino Forever tattoo. She claims to have a text in which he apologizes for turning into, quote, the monster. Depp denied this, and the topic was brought up in court. According to Depp, the tattoo was a Winona Forever tattoo, in which he got for his precious girlfriend of Winona Ryder. The catch was that they weren't together anymore, and Depp knew that Heard didn't like the tattoo, so he did a Wino Forever to try and make her laugh. It didn't take apparently, but he maintained that he never hurt her because of it. Later, in March 2013, Depp and Heard had another altercation, which he refers to in text 
as the disco bloodbath. According to Heard, she got hit by him so hard with a backhand complete with rings that she bled from her lips. A photo was taken after the event, and Depp notes that it proves that she was fine as she was willing to take that photo and go out in public. Heard claims, though, that her hair in the shot is covering the bruise, a cover-up that Heard would use in various forms as the allegations grew. Number 7. Growing Resentments More text over this period in 2013 revealed even more details about what may or may not be going on in the relationship, including one set of texts from Amber Heard to her mother, where she talks about the spiral that Johnny was on with his addiction. Depp notes that this is actually proof of him not hurting her, because why would she focus on the addiction and not the alleged violence against her. Despite turmoil in their relationship, Depp and Heard became engaged in January 2014. Heard is photographed wearing an engagement ring, and later the couple confirmed the engagement to People magazine. But despite this, things allegedly continued to happen, including Depp allegedly getting violent with Heard once again, this time on a plane when he confronts her about a potential affair she's having with James Franco. Depp's assistant confirms the argument did happen, but whether the violence happened is up for debate much like many other violent incidents in this relationship. That's why you felt comfortable having James Franco over the evening of May 22nd, 2016, Ms. Heard? I do not know when... I do not know when James came over. Okay, let's remind you. Such as in 2015, when during a time in Tokyo for the premiere of one of his movies, Heard alleged that he hurt her in various ways. Depp counters this by noting this wouldn't be possible due to how his children were in the very next room. What's more, Heard went to the premiere of the movie and had no visible injuries on her. Number 6. The Australia Incident Arguably one of the most talked about parts of the case is what happened when they were in Australia. This was when Depp was filming the fifth Pirates film and Heard was with him on the venture. But during another argument, the two have very different versions of what happened. According to Amber, Depp got violent with her, and after smashing a phone, he lost a fingertip. Depp, meanwhile, notes that he was asking her to sign an agreement should they ever split up, and she lost it. She started throwing glass bottles at his head, and one of them shattered, resulting in the cutting of his finger. This is where things get tricky, because the doctor who treated Depp has a text that has Depp not just chewing out Heard, but having him state he cut his own finger. However, another witness, Ben King, He said he was... Th Mr. Depp had sustained an injury to his finger, one of his fingers, and he was looking for a, the fingertip that, that had, it said it had been severed. Uh, did, at some point, was Mr. Depp's fingertip found? Yes. Who found it? I did. Notes that on the plane ride back, after finding the severed fingertip, Amber Heard asked him if he ever just lost it on a partner, and when he said he never did, she got angry and didn't talk to him for the rest of the trip. Ms. Heard, that's you and Mr. Depp on that recording, correct? That's correct. And you told Mr. Depp, quote, I can't promise you that I won't get physical, end quote, correct? That, that's correct. There were a lot of other things that allegedly happened in Australia, including the infamous dog incident featuring Heard's pets, but all in all, it was not the best time for that marriage. Number five, more incidents. After Johnny and Amber were married in 2015, things didn't get better. In fact, less than a month after the marriage, Depp made a joke about pushing her sister down a flight of stairs that she was next to. Amber's response was to punch him, and then claimed it to be self-defense. Her sister also claims she saw Depp grabbing Amber by the hair and hitting her, but Depp, as you would expect, denies this. He was about to push my sister down the stairs. She was attempting to break us up. I am protective over my baby sister. When he laid hands on her, I don't know what I did. In July 2015, on a train in Southeast Asia during their honeymoon, Deb allegedly hits Heard and grabs her by the throat at 3.30 a.m. Deb's security testify they wouldn't have known about a fight at 3 a.m. In a photo from that night, Deb claims his red nose is an injury from Heard. At Thanksgiving of that year, Heard alleged that Deb left her in a knot after doing various violent actions to her, but Deb countered with movies from that night that showcase Heard in perfect health throughout the time he allegedly hurt her. Number 4. The LA Incident Another key talking point happened in 2016 when Amber was allegedly hurt by Deb, and she told her friends to call the cops, because of not just the damage that was being done to her, but because of the damage that was being done to their home. The police were indeed brought in, and as a result of that, Something should have happened, right? Except the police, one of which was a female, noted that while Heard was crying, they saw no signs of AB. And furthermore, there was no damage to the LA home. This was later backed up in 2021 when the body cam footage was released and no clear damage was done. The officers also noted that Depp wasn't around, 
Hurt didn't show the signs of a domestic AB victim and that one of Hurt's friends said that everything was fine. This is still one of the most contested elements of the case because Hurt swears that this happened. The cops say otherwise and Depp noted that he left the home before things even got close to violent. Number 3. The Divorce and Allegations Eventually, in 2016, Amber Heard would file for divorce from Johnny. She also put out the first true accusations of violence in their relationship. Though very curiously, even though reports and evidence of bruises and other physical harm were released, there were many who noted that they never saw them on Heard's body despite being close to her. It should also be noted that despite filing for divorce and getting a restraining order out on Depp, Heard repeatedly met with Depp to talk with him, including in one cover-up moment where she talked about how her reputation was gone, and Depp proposed an idea of a joint statement, which they eventually did do, to help smooth things over in the public eye. Another time was confirmed by her agent when he helped arrange a meeting with Depp in San Francisco, and it didn't go well at all, including Depp offering to mutilate himself due to how he had nothing left to give, as she had already taken everything from him. Number 2. The Op-It That leads us to the Washington Post op-it written by Amber, in which she claimed to be the face of the movement in terms of those being hurt by DV. Deb hears about this and outright denies it, setting up the series of lawsuits that have continued to this day. Heard repeatedly has denied that the article was about Johnny, and yet many have cited that to be curious at best. Number 1. The Defamation Case Finally, there is the defamation case that is going on right now with the courts. This is the ultimate test of the claims from both sides, and at present, things are certainly going better for Johnny than it is for Amber. This is noted because Heard has repeatedly and consistently said that she never hurt Depp, or only hurt him in self-defense, yet recordings prove this to be false. Furthermore, multiple witnesses attached to the former couple have stated that though they verbally argued a lot, they never saw Johnny get physical with her. Heard's legal team, meanwhile, has been focusing on his addiction woes and how that led to the violence against her. We're three weeks into this ordeal and more details are coming out almost every weekday, for better or for worse. All in all, it's hard to tell where the allegations will eventually end and the truth will unfold, but it's a long and complex journey to get where we are now, and how it'll end is anyone's guess. And there you go everyone, a look at the timeline of Johnny and Amber's relationship, and how the relationship led to the court case that we're now very much embroiled in. Can you see how things look on both sides of the viewing glass? Whose case do you certainly feel is the strongest, and will get their narrative pushed over in the end? Let us know what you think in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.